Hi fudgies, good morning, good morning. Right now I'm sitting at Target and they just opened. So I'm gonna head on in and see if they have any new back to school stuff in the dollar spot. So come along with me. Now, as you can probably tell, I'm not in my car. I'm actually in my husband's car because mine is still in the shop. I ended up not bringing any of the kids with me today. It just was more convenient to go by myself and probably a lot faster too. So, plus I kind of like the kids to get surprised with the school supplies. They pick some, I pick some, it's just a good system. So, let's head on in and I will show you everything that I find. Oh yes, and of course, if you haven't already, I would love it if you would go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you love back to school shopping. Let's go. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this as a voiceover because even though it was super early in the morning, they had just opened, they were pretty crowded and it was loud. So first off, I'm drawn to the snack containers, of course, but they only had a couple of different styles. They had Minnie Mouse, Paw Patrol, Frozen, and Incredibles. They also had a lot of really fun teaching tools like this giant money. That'd be really fun to teach your kids about money using that. They also had visual aids for teaching colors and letters and planets. Pretty cool. Now I have to mention the flashcard area. I think I've purchased just about every different kind over the years and my kids and I would play little games with them. They're a great way to make learning fun. They also had these really cute felt puppets so kids can create their own story. There was Little Red Riding Hood, Prince and Princess, superheroes, and farm animals. And they also had a smaller version where you got lots of different ones for $3. I also noticed a lot of very interesting school supplies like these marbled crayons, those are really cool. And then lots of craft kits. My kids would love these, especially Lily. We're also a big fan of the letter magnets and they also had the number ones, perfect for teaching numbers and letters to little ones. Now these scratch off letters are really fun, but I have to warn you, they are messy. I found two of these wooden caddies and they would be perfect for organizing pens and pencils and crayons. This chalkboard clock was $3 and it would be perfect to teach our kids how to tell time. They also had dry erase blocks and a chalkboard block as well. There were also lots of different storage options. These really cool containers were $3 each and they also had a smaller version and you got two. Of course, we had pencil holders, desk lamps, and then these mason jars were actually plastic with a chalkboard label already on there. You could store so many things in there, it'd be really cute. This next area was full of so many cute teacher items. They had several different colors of this dry erase calendar and lots of these canvas bags, perfect for books, in several different prints. I really love the pencil ones, so cute. They also had some plain ones so you could design your own. Look at all of these adorable erasers. We have little apples, rainbows. And then if you're into stamps, this is a great time to go. They had so many different stamps that are perfect for teachers, if you need to grade papers and things like that. And of course I have to show you the fun socks. Pencils, one that looks like a notebook, and then a lined paper. Adorable for just a dollar. They only had one of these really cute mugs. This would be a perfect teacher gift. It was five dollars. They also have lots and lots of different pencil pouches. These ones were all felt. Now I wasn't quite sure what these were at first. They kind of look like ornaments, but the tag says that they're gift toppers. So if you have a teacher gift, you can, add, you can add this on there. And these are adorable. A little apple, a ruler, a rainbow. You'll see a lot of that kind of stuff in this whole section. This is definitely the theme and the look for the year. And here's something that I'm gonna need to pick up. We have an attendance book, so you can keep attendance in your class. And they also have a lesson plan book, which would definitely be helpful if you're a teacher. I also found even more stamps, perfect for grading papers. I really like the mistakes are proof that you are trying. This message was on a lot of these products. Check out these really cute teacher pointers. We have a pencil, an apple, and a fox. There's also these really cute wood clips with letters and with numbers. These would be perfect manipulatives for little kids. 
Of course, they have their classic calendar. I think I'm gonna have to pick one of these up this year. And they have lots of educational posters as well. Like we have the US, numbers, letters, colors, fractions even. And of course, they have motivational posters as well. This one's definitely my favorite. This next item is definitely one of my favorite finds out of the entire dollar spot. This is a mini light box kit. I have a big one at home and I really like it. It's $5 and you can change out the date, turn on the light. It would be really cute to put on your desk. They also had some wooden block versions as well. Really fun, interchangeable calendars. Lots of string light bulbs as well. These ones that look like rubber bands are especially cute. Next to that, I found some really cute room decor. These ones say things like create, dream, explore, coffee. And I love the fake plants, you guys. And this one in the little ruler pot is definitely my favorite, so cute. They also have smaller signs. Right next to that, I found several really adorable clip strips. So this is something you can mount on the wall and then there's little clips to hang up your artwork and things like that. And then these little spinners are kind of an educational toy. There's one with letters to make words, there's numbers. The Dollar Spot also had new farmhouse decor. I was definitely drawn to these potted plants. They were only $3 each, really nice. I also found some glass jars. This one says dairy with a little cow on it. And they also had a plain version. These were $3 each. Next to that, they had some of these really trendy woven baskets. These are $3 each and it came in pink and yellow. This mini chalkboard was $3. And so was this little ceramic strainer. The mini cutting boards were also just $3. They had a chicken, a pig, and just a plain one. And then if you're looking for a recipe binder, these are really cute and they're just $3. So you can organize all of your recipes. I also found lots of really cute storage jars for the kitchen. These ones would be perfect for some jam. They had this bigger version and a smaller version. These soup mugs were also super cute. There was a blue one and a yellow one, and it comes with a lid. You can microwave it. This little crate was really pretty. There was only one, so they must have been popular. And next to that, they had lots more canvas bags. These ones I think would be perfect for taking to the grocery store. They have sort of a grocery um, food shopping theme to them. So you have some reusable bags. As you can tell, there's a lot in this section, but we're almost to the end. This area is perfect if you're off to college or if you have a space that you're trying to organize. They had a lot of these plastic bins in different sizes, and I love the different colors available. The mugs were adorable. And they also had mouse pads available. And how cute are these little lights? There's a cactus and a hashtag. Hashtag super cute. Next, I found items that would be perfect for organizing a dorm room or small spaces. They had organizing files for jewelry, scarves. This one is to organize under your bed. They had shower totes. And then this guy is a big hamper. These were $7 each and they had this sort of, this tan color and a bright pink. The makeup bags definitely caught my eye. And of course, I'm drawn to the one with the cactus on it. These are really large, you can hold a lot of makeup for just $3. I thought these little pillows were adorable. The rainbow, the apple, and the pencil. Let me know which one is your favorite. There are so many cute decor pieces. Now this is actually a piggy bank, so you could put your change or your money in there and save it up for something special. And then this sign said, be nice on one side and love on the other. And of course, something you might need during back to school season, some stress balls. <laughs>
Okay, fudgies, I made it out of Target without spending a fortune, which is always a good thing, right? I wasn't tempted to go into any other areas of the store. I just checked the dollar spot today. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to this and show you a big collective back to school haul in one separate video, because I also wanna go to Walmart and see what's new there. And of course, the Dollar Tree as well. But I have to say, I was super impressed by what I saw at Target just now. In fact, they were still putting stuff out, so there's a few things I didn't even get to see yet, so I'll definitely go back. So if you're a teacher, if you're a homeschool mom, if you're off to college, it's the perfect time to go to the dollar spot. They had a lot of things perfect for organizing and um, yeah. Anyway, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this shop with me. I hope it gives you a great idea of what's available at the dollar spot. And as always, when it comes to the dollar spot, go early or you might miss out. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.